Well, a close call for students at Prairie View A&M University. They actually had to escape a fire in their dorm. Some were forced to actually jump out of windows there. You're looking at exclusive video of the fire before it was put out. For more, we want to go right now live to ABC 13 reporter Bree Berry. And Bree, did this happen in the middle of the night? Hey, good morning, Melanie. It happened um, just before 6 a.m. is when the school was alerted. So sometime in those early morning hours, you know, students right now are actually loading up their cars with whatever they could take. They were escorted in by police. We've just recently learned a few minutes ago that they have to relocate the, all of the students in that entire building. So obviously going to be a bit of a headache today. You know, three of the students Excuse me, three of the students who I spoke with said they tried to run into that burning building, but the thick smoke made it impossible to get down the hallway where the girls were screaming, trying to get out. So they started putting mattresses under the windows, trying to give those girls an option to be able to jump if need be. And as you mentioned, one did have to jump and she was rushed to the hospital with a leg injury. The fire department says the fire started from a hallway AC unit on the third floor of the dorm. This exclusive video shows dorm 40 at University College on fire. I'm running to my building. I see a girl hanging out the ledge, another one on the floor, another one skin bleeding. What? What, what are we doing? A few students we spoke with said they've had problems with their AC unit in the past. Students coming back from step practice heard the fire alarm, thinking it was a routine drill until they saw the flames and heard the screams. We ran up to the third floor trying to uh, save the girls, but once we got up to the third floor, the whole third floor was pitch black smoke. We ran to our building, which is actually next door, and it's our sister building, and we got the mattresses, and we were trying to do whatever we could, knew how to do to get them out of the building and get them to safety. In total, four people were hurt. One student jumped from the third floor. Two others were rescued from a ledge and taken for smoke inhalation, including a police officer who ran into the building to get students out. According to a statement shared by the school, they say our student affairs team is working diligently to assist impacted students with relocation arrangements. And when I talked to those students this morning, a group of them after talking to me were all filing into cars and they said we're going to try to go over to Walmart to get whatever clothes we can to make it through the rest of the day because again, that third floor, they don't believe there's anything less left, but all of the students in that building now looking for a new place to stay and the, the uh, campus is helping them out with that, but certainly not the morning that they thought they were going to be in for when they started their day. Melanie live here from the Prairie View A&M campus. Bree Berry, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Yeah, Bree, just glad that uh, everyone survived without too many problems and a lot of heroes there between that police officer and those yeah. students. Thank you so much.